Happy Halloween, guys, from Tyri521. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to be showcasing my Lego Pennywise, the Dancing Clown minifigure from It and It Chapter 2. Now, I want to apologize for getting this video out to you guys uh, so late. <laughs> I actually recorded this the weekend that It Chapter 2 came out with the intent of editing it and uh, uploading it um, that same weekend. But unfortunately, things just didn't go down that way. I, you know, my classes started up again. My online classes started up again um, in late August, and I just kind of have been busy lately, and that's why I've been on a mini hiatus, just kind of like last year. And I'm assuming as I'm going through college, it'll continue to be that way, where I'll go on a mini hiatus when the when the fall semester starts again. Um, but I always love doing Halloween videos, so just like last year, my uh, big redemption or my comeback video is on Halloween. Um, I've got two videos. Coming Coming out later tonight, uh, this figure showcase, and I've got a couple of uh, two figures from Psycho that I made um, that'll be uh, debuting later tonight as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it Chapter Two uh, was a movie that I really I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I feel like you know now that the hype's kind of coming on, I think we can all confidently say you know, or at least for me personally, that it wasn't as good as the first one. You know, the first one was a, just a major major it really appealed to me i love the 80s setting i love the uh the themes of friendship and i and i really love the uh the uh way which they uh went about uh creating pennywise and turning him into this just like unstoppable force of terror and um i really like their interpretation of him in the movies and while it chapter two did have some pacing issues and while the ending was a little silly, um, I still think it's better than people give it credit for. It has like a 6.9 on IMDb right now, and I think that's a little too low. It's not a masterpiece or anything, but it's better than people are saying it is. Uh, so for the release of this movie, um, I actually, this summer, or late in the summer, early in the fall, I went back and I completely updated my Pennywise figure. Pretty much virtually everything about this figure is different from the original version that I posted back in early 2018. So if we kind of just start, let's see, we'll start with the legs. If we kind of take a look down there, you can see you've got a skirt that I sculpted onto him. You can see I, sc I sculpted all the ruffles and everything. That was achieved the same way that I made my um, that I made my Game of Thrones armor figures, where I took a um, a uh, Clone Wars uh, like Clone Trooper pauldron or not pauldron, a Clone Trooper um, like waist cape. And I sanded it down so it was fl so it was kind of flush with the figure, and then I sculpted onto it. Um, I sculpted, like I said, the ruffles and everything you can see on there. Um, I also sculpted some ruffles down by his feet. If I kind of move his uh, his torso up a little bit, you can kind of see the ruffles down by the feet, as well as the black boots painted on with the the um, little red pom pom dot things on the front that are also sculpted on. A lot of sculpting went in this figure, probably more than any other figure. You can see the ruffles kind of continue on to the sides. Uh, not onto the back, though. Whoops, he's going blurry. You can see how yeah, the sculpting did not continue on to the back. I just ended up uh, leaving that uh, flat. I don't know, just because you're not going to see it anyway. I didn't want to. I didn't know how far out to extend it either. So, um, if we take a look at the torso, we can see his torso. I also sculpted on the little pom pom dot things. Um, I sculpted on the the little uh, ruffles on both of his arms. I tried to make those symmetrical, at least more symmetrical than my last version. Um, and I really like the way those turned out. Um, you can see his old belt is a red and tan striped little belt thing. Um, one thing that I unfortunately did not realize until after I completed this figure is that the um, you look at the back of the torso, the stitching on the back is actually supposed to go over his belt, and I did not realize that. And I could have gone back and fixed it, but I just kind of like the look of it anyway, so I'm just going to leave it, I think. But yeah, the stitching on the back should be over the belt, for accuracy's sake. Um, I also did extend his legs. Uh, credit to uh, Sam's Figs on Instagram for that idea. It was something I never thought about, but then as I was making him, I was like, Oh yeah, Pennywise is a pretty tall fella. Yeah, he probably should have extended legs. So I just used, you know, the, the classic uh, extended legs technique that customizers use to do that. Um, if we take a look, he's also got his uh, his little uh, neck ruffle thing. I don't know the terms of, you know, the clothing that they wore in Victorian England, so I'm just saying ruffle a lot. Uh, he's got his neck ruffle thing, uh, which is painted in a um, kind of like a, a cream color in like a very, very light tan because I 
I was, you know, I didn't want to just leave it plain white, and I was considering just kind of dry brushing some gray onto it like I did with the last version, uh, but I thought maybe just adding like a base layer of uh, tan to kind of accentuate the dirtiness of it would have been better than dry brushing it, um, and I really like the look of that. I think that color uh, fits in really well with how he looks in the film. So I painted the neck ruffle tan, as you can tell, and his face. I am very, very proud of this. Big thanks to my good friend Fishy Figs for helping me uh, design this face. Um, if we, we can kind of zoom in, I want to get as close as I can to that thing without it going blurry. Uh, come on. But as you can see with the face, his face was... Um, it just started off as a plain white face. Everything on there is completely painted from scratch. As you see, I sculpted his forehead as well as his uh, hair on. It was done in two layers of sculpt. Kind of take a look at the back of the hair, a little messy, you can kind of see where the second layer overlaps the top layer. Um, but if you take a look at the face, you can see I painted on the, um, his face is just like the last version meant to mimic his face from the projector scene. So as you can see, we've got the uh, red lines of his mouth kind of connecting up to his eyes and jagged points. Um, the eyes, he's got like some, uh, some black lines kind of around to showcase the, uh, the curvature of, you know, his eyebrows and whatnot. See some gray lines, they're kind of... Kind of hard to see, but he's got some gray lines showing the curvature of his forehead up above, as well as some gray lines showing the his cheekbones, and the big sinister toothy smile that he has in the projector scene, um, as well as his little red nose right above the mouth. Um, so I'm very, very proud of it. I really think this is one of the best faces I've ever made, and I really think this is just overall one of my best figures. I also used the new uh, balloon piece from the collectible minifigure series, which I don't believe was available at the time of making my last one. Um, so I'm really glad they have this piece now so I can abandon my old sculpted balloon, which was, wasn't that great. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to him, guys. He's one of my favorite figures I think I've ever made. Um, I'm really proud of him, and, um, like I said, I really think It Chapter 2 is an underrated movie. It's not perfect by any means, but it's certainly better than people are giving it credit for. Um, and I can't wait to watch it again, considering it's going to be out on DVD in, like, a month and a half. Again, sorry for getting this video out to you guys. Uh, so late after the movie has already come and gone from theaters. Um, I've just been lazy. Well, not necessarily lazy. I've just been very busy with my classes. So thank you for sticking in there with me. Um, and like I said, be on the lookout for the other uh, Halloween showcase I've got coming out to you guys later tonight. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.